several times in each chapter we see how helpless krishna is we find weakness lording over strength exactly because it is weak shrimad bhagavad gita is an epic struggle and krishna is the struggler it 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 all tugs at your heart strings it's actually a song as much of melancholy as of wisdom that's the reason i love the gita hello good afternoon sir my name is neelo swal i am a second year architecture student uh, my question to you is uh, how do you overcome the fear fear of mediocrity how do you uh, not feel less it's not about self doubt but it is about always to do better how do you feel uh, content with your work and motivated to do better even if uh, you do not feel that way explain your question uh, for example uh, if i am working on something on a project and it is i have i have put my all efforts but it is not that good and i know that because i have seen other people's work and uh, i just feel that i am amongst all the normal people in class i am not special so how do you deal with that no your responsibility is to be better than yourself you are not to calibrate yourself against other people please please get this right hmm? because you all are young and competitive you have to ask yourself how better i am compared to what i was yesterday you are on your own individual journey it is not uh, possible or wise to compare yourself against others you have to ask yourself i started from this particular point hmm? yesterday i was at this particular level where am i today that has to be the consideration playing against yourself being your own best self that's what all wisdom all bravery is about being your own best self the battle that you fight is not so much against others complete the statement now the battle that each of one fights or rather must fight is not so much against others that battle has to be primary against primarily against yourself how am i and how far have i come where did i start from i have said that repeatedly and that's coming from first hand experience at iit i had long opportunity of 4 years to interact with an entire spectrum of students from across the country not only my batch but also senior batches and the succeeding batches i have seen people with all india rank 5 10 15 15 which is considered very prestigious i have also seen people who barely made the cut off so ranks 2000 or something obviously today they have uh, more than 10000 15000 seats at that time it was hardly 2000 or 2500 seats the worth of a student i clearly saw was not determined so much by the rank he or she got the worth 
was determined by the background that person came from. What were the odds? What did you fight against? Somebody coming from Bihar or Odisha, that to a small town background, from an economically underprivileged family, and yet somehow securing admission to the IIT was actually a far worthier candidate than someone from an affluent Delhi family having all the facilities, all the money, all the coaching, all the comforts. What is it that you are fighting against? That's what matters. I cannot compare a fellow from a remote interior Bihar village to a youngster from South Delhi. Hmm? South Delhi is rich, plush, powerful, L much like South Bombay probably. So where are you coming from? You are coming from your own background. Ask yourself, how much have I improved? And be on an endless journey of improvement. No quantum of improvement is sufficient. And we should not miss, when we are talking of improvement, something more important than improvement improvement in the right direction. You must choose the right goal, the right target, and then keep improving towards it constantly. It's as simple as that. Is it, is it clarifying? Yes, sir. yes. Does something remain? You may counter question. Thank you. And what I'm saying is not something you can convince all others with. Because that's the way the world is. They'll benchmark you against the others. They'll say you have, uh, if we talk of academics, they'll say you have 68%, the other one has 82%. So they'll declare you a mediocre one. But you should not take their words to heart. You should know where that 68 is coming from. Your responsibility does not lie in matching the one with 82. Your responsibility lies in converting the 68 to 72. 68 converted to 72, 68 improved to 72 is as important as or probably more respectable than somebody who was at 82 and remains at 82. If I have to rank two performers, one who was at 82 and stagnated at 82, and someone who was at 68 and has improved to 72, you know the one I'll pick, the latter one. Hmm? 